Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So there's a new Marvel movie that's coming out, The Eternals. Hasn't even had its full release yet. It's released on the 5th of November. And it's already getting some pushback from people. The critic reviews have already come out and it's over 50%, but it's not a high rating. And there's... I've seen some ridiculous comments on it. One of them that I saw was someone who said that these reviews are targeted because the cast is very diverse. They said it feels targeted because of the type of movie it was. And it's, I don't understand that. Um, diverse movies don't automatically get negative reviews. Um, I mean, as far as Marvel movies go, Black Panther was their, for, for a little bit, was their highest grossing movie. It had some of the highest reviews of any Marvel movie. So, I don't really get that. But the main point of this video is really about the review industry in general. As far as the movie itself goes, I haven't seen it. And I can't really make a judgment on something I haven't seen myself. At least as far as like the little clips and stuff I've seen go. I mean, it looks like a superhero movie. Modern superhero movies all kind of... There's just... It's, it's like there's just too much green screen work and CGI. Which, I don't have a problem with CGI. I need to... Just, just to be clear. CGI, when it's done well looks great the problem is when it comes to good cgi it's kind of one of those it's like user interfaces with stuff when it's really good you don't notice it it just does its thing and you kind of just accept it but when cgi is bad everyone notices it and points it out and that's why you know always hear people say oh there's too much cgi in movies no there's just too much bad cgi in movies and the clip that I saw that made me feel that way was that one, I think it's Angelina Jolie's character, and it, it almost looks like she's just on ice, skating around, hitting people and stuff like that. Which, I get it, they're supers and all, they're moving really fast, and... But I saw that scene, and then immediately compare it to the Zack Snyder Justice League with Wonder Woman and the bank robbery scene. And, yeah, you know, in that scene, Wonder, Woman, Wonder Woman's moving really fast. And it can't. It looks a little weird, but in the same hand, it almost seems like it's grounded in reality. You know, the way that she's moving around people who aren't. But, when it comes to the review industry, though, I, I don't like what reviews have become in the modern world uh, when you get audience review ratings and stuff like that most of the time they're just review bombs whether it's positive or negative you just get packs of people who put one star or five star reviews on a product whether it's a movie show doesn't matter i don't like it or the person who i watch told me that they don't like it so now i don't like it let me give it a one star review they haven't seen it, or they don't care, so they just do whatever, they just follow the pack with stuff like that. If you don't watch something yourself, you're a bad, you're a bad reviewer at that point. My problem with reviewing and stuff like that, if you don't know the person who is doing the review, it's hard to really take what they're saying with any sort of value. Like, just as an example, like, take with video game reviews. When you get big companies like, say, IGN, and, you know, the joke about every game gets a 7 or 8 or 9, you know, you'll get... They always get somebody to do the review who's going to put it in a positive light. It's always something they enjoy. You'll never get to see any 
you get some critiques of the works that they review, but not to the point where I think it's valid. Just to give you an idea, I don't like turn-based RPG games. I can't stand them. It's just, I don't like the pacing, they go too slow, whatever. If I were to recommend you a turn-based RPG game and told you it was good, that review holds a higher weight than someone who likes turn-based RPG games telling you a game is good. I hate that media, but if I think the game is good to the point where I like it more than my hate for that style, it's good. If you just hear people saying, reviewing stuff in their wheelhouse, for one, you won't get any kind of valid critique, and for two, that's not really very expansive. If you only deal with stuff that you know, how are you growing? I guess, to like sum all this up, reviews don't matter unless it's someone you know and someone you trust. Don't bother with seeing these audience ratings versus critic ratings unless you're doing the duality of man meme where you can, there's just plenty of movies like that where the critic rating is really low and the audience rating is really high. And nine times out of 10 when that happens, it's review bombing, just positive review bombing. And that's still bad. Positive review bombing and negative review bombing, both of those are not good things to do. I don't care your reasoning behind it. Review the things that you've seen. If you feel like it, don't just rate things because you think you won't like it or someone told you that you won't like it. You don't know unless you've done it yourself.